Good morning, America. It's March 7th, 2016. It's been 186 days since the bomb dropped, and what a day it is. Carl, did you see that sunset last night? Yes, I did, Ted. And believe me, it was beautiful. I mean, it reminded me of that one painting. What was it again? Uh, Scream. Ah, by Edward Munch. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I'm like, ah! Uh, kind of reminded me from Tad from Accounting, remember? Ah, uh, the one that got vaporized. Yeah. <laughs> that was a party of a day. Mm, he was a bastard. It should be noted also that children and seniors, if there are any of you out there who are still alive, stay inside today if you wish to continue living. Ah. Uh, now I said if, Carl. If. if. First and foremost on most people's minds today will be what happened at last Thursday's presidential primaries. What did happen, Ted? Conservative hopeful Arch Walters and Democratic Doug Jackson duped it out over very many issues live on the air. Ah. We bring you that footage now. Now, no disrespect to the mutant zombie defamation front, but we've made similar mistakes in yesteryear. A ban on weapons created a demand for weapons. A war on drugs created a war for drugs. And all of our disallowing of gay marriage made one of the largest orgies San Francisco's ever seen. Is that the one with the jello shots? The free? Free jello shots? What are we waiting for? Ah! Very heated debate, don't you think, Carl? Oh, yes, it was, Ted. Who are you going to vote for? Oh, uh, you know, I can't tell you that. The new law. Mm, yes. Well, blacks will be able to vote again someday. Yeah. Well, that brings us to our segment of the weather. So we turn things over to Lester Malone. There's a... Noxious gas coming out of old Los Angeles. In slug news, there have been a different kind of comeback. Last month, Michael Jackson rose from his grave, retaking Neverland Ranch with his horde of zombie followers. And as of recent, Whitney Houston is now back. I don't know how you feel about interhuman zombie marriage, but I'd like to see Bobby and Whitney back together again. And they said climate change wouldn't be any fun. <laughs> how wrong they were. Oh, yes. And now for you hopeful souls out there, we'll be placing our weekly telephone call to the USS Noah's Ark. Those valiant souls who left on that faithful day to find a new world for us to inhabit. Let's give them a ring. before, if it glows, just say no. But now it's time to notice that people are much happier with the extra appendages and telekinetic abilities. So if you do come across some radioactive water or floating watermelons, enjoy. I know, I for one. Wouldn't trade little Bobby for the world. Thank you, Dr. Strange Rub. Wall Street's seen better days, but hostess stocks are actually rising most likely due to the rapid consumption of Twinkies in areas that are short on food. In a related exclusive, our own Carl Peters will be speaking to a gourmet chef who might be able to give you some ideas for your kitchen at home. I'd like to introduce our chef for the day, the Cannibal Chef. Ah, yes. Clark Peters. Thank you. Such a big fan of your show. Yes. Now I would like to show you some things that I do. Really? Mm -hmm. Now, what is this that you're making today for us? These are my neighbors. They died last night, so they're still fresh. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. I'm guessing they're pretty edible. Um, mm -hmm. Did you kill, do you kill your food yourself no. or? Ne I never kill anything and then eat the dead. I like to find things that are already dead. Really? Yes. Wow, so how did you come upon them? Well, 
You ask a lot of questions, don't um, you? It's my, it's my job. I'm mm. a reporter. Okay. Well, you should be more careful. About after what? Last, you ask too many questions. Okay, <laughs> okay well. Let's just talk about cooking. My, my I just wanted to cook for you, Clark oh, Peters. Okay, okay, okay. Clark Peters, I just want to cook for you. It's, it's, I hear you are accusing me of things. It's Carl. Say Carl. Clark, Carl. Carl. What's the difference? It's Carl. All right. Okay, so what? So show everybody how you made this. Okay, so what you want to do <clears throat> when you find your bodies, you want to get a big tub and boil them overnight so oh. that things fall off and it gets all... Kind of like chicken when you yes. boil it, yes, yes. And uh, that is what I've brought here for you today. So I've been prepared for the most part. All that's left is we have to go through it and take out the unedible parts. And oh, oh, wow. Now, what's, let's, uh, so, let's see what you got here. For instance, for instance, uh, cockies. Cockies. Cannot eat cockies. Whoa. Is your the car bucket. still working? Uh, it's just say no. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Car pizzas, you go through, you dig through that, you see if you find anything. Okay, I will put this right here. Yes, yes. Uh, let's yes. see. We've got a, looks like a pack of cigarettes. Mm -hmm. If I can yes. get it out. Oh, see that, everybody? Don't want that in there. <laughs> get addicted. Uh, is this a Shirt? A tank top? Yes, that is what that is. Oh, wow. You do not want to eat that. You what happens if I do? might be able to wear it. Huh. Well, it looks like someone has a hell of a tie-dye job. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, getting blood here. Mm -hmm. I think this is the end of our segment. Um, I'm going to get me a little bit of this, get a bowl and get me a little bit of this because I'm starving. And it was nice meeting you. Oh, yes. And course, hopefully course. we'll meet again. Mm -hmm. And you are parked in parking lot, yes. Uh, actually, I took a uh, cab here, so I'm actually, it's actually waiting outside for me. It's actually waiting outside for me. So, um, back to you, Ted. That's it for our show today. It's March 7th, 2016, 186 days since the bombs dropped. And we promise to be here tomorrow to bring you the latest breaking earth-shattering coverage of news and entertainment. We'll outlive the cockroaches yet. Good luck, everyone.